What's going on, workforce? Brian here. Chris here. And it's time that we talk about the end of an era. Over 61,000 of you have subscribed, and no worries. Uh, work to game isn't going away, but if you've been following us for the last couple of months, you've probably noticed some changes around the channel. And since we don't actually have a wheel topic, it's a whole new month. Uh, we figured we'd sit down and we'll spin the wheel for kind of a new month kickoff with some new uh, topics. But before we do that, I actually want to say Chris has been uh, creating his own channel. We've been teasing this at the end of our videos. So Chris has created Gaming Kinda, and I think about 60 of you at the time of this recording have found his channel uh, and are seeming to really enjoy it. And what we want to do is the top link in the description, guys. If you like Chris, if you like his thoughts, we want to rush you over there. And a lot of this video that we're going to sit down and talk about today is what you can expect from work to game as a content, as a uh, as a collaborative channel that we've always like we've always considered it uh, collab and uh, what you can expect going forward. But Chris, why don't you tell people a little bit about Gaming Kinda, and why don't we also thank everybody for hopefully going out and voting? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this will ideally be the last post for anybody that's trying to avoid that stuff by watching gaming stuff. Just thank you guys for voting. Uh, there's a statistical likelihood that tonight will not go smoothly and that it will drag on into days to come um, because of the number of you that did it early and, and did it by mail. And just thank you. Um, in our state, it was literally more people voted early than voted in 2016 total. So way to go guys, way to show up. Uh, so gaming kinda is basically as, as work to game has changed and matured, um, a lot of what Brian and I have learned is not only what kind of content we wanna make and what kind of content you guys wanna consume, but there's this like third group in the room called Google and they kind of have some say in like whether or not our thoughts make it to you. Um, and so we have to try to stick on their road, even if it's content you want and we want to make. And so uh, work to games has gone through several iterations and we found that what's most fun for us to make at this point is collaborative content. So you guys notice that it's both our faces a whole lot more often. It's not just rare. Um, and that you can't just slam the algorithm like we used to. For those of you that have been around a long time, there was a point where we used to post like more than twice a day, every day of the week, like, like 15, 16 posts a week. Um, and the algorithm doesn't like that. Uh, it's possible that's because you guys don't like that. So it's possible the algorithm's just defending you. And so we dialed back our content creation. Well, the problem is that like, sometimes there's still content we wanna make. And uh, just cause you guys don't want it doesn't mean we're not gonna put it out there. <laughs> so we need somewhere to do that. Um, so Brian had a bigger wave of energy when we started making this change. So his channels came online faster. And, um, and so he's got Ginger Prime going as his kind of primary focus outside of work to game. And then he's starting to spin up others. Um, my first one out of the gate, I tried a couple, throwing a couple things against the wall. And the one I'm gonna stick with for, for first out of the gate is Gaming Kinda. And it's just a place where like all the extra thoughts that like maybe Brian doesn't have an opinion on or we don't have time to record, but like, I just wanna talk to a camera. Um, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. And it's all about gaming. Kinda. kinda like yeah. it's it, anything like it can be adjacent stuff it can be new game studios opening up it can be some toxicity in a particular community it can be is right now the, the right time to play a game um i think long term it may end up with some other types of posts uh, i'm working on a versus post right now and i'm thinking that was probably need to live over there um yeah so then the next question is, is that uh, obviously you guys have subscribed, you know, like I said, over 61,000 of you, just like, oh my gosh, like, thank you guys so much. It is truly impressive and humbling to be a part of this community and the fact that you guys trusted us by hitting that subscribe button. Um, but like, what is it going to be? What is work to game going to be going forward? And obviously, I think for anybody who has been following along these last two months, ha you know, you're seeing these discussions, uh, namely and mainly around Final Fantasy 14. And I don't see that changing unless Square Enix releases another Final Fantasy based MMO. Like I, I we have a love for this uh, for this game, but we also have a hope that we can, you know, take a little bit wider and uh, and talk about bigger gaming kind of like discussions occasionally, not like all the time but also what does this mean for guides and the thing that you'll you'll see uh here on work to game is essentially kind of like our ultimate series of guides like we're going to test out and work uh guides out on ginger prime and, and gaming kind of or like in uh whatever that ecosystem works i'm not trying to like force chris to make guides on his channel but regardless like the the goal is like hey 
I have like my controller guides, right? So that's one of the things that people, a lot of people hit subscribe button for. You'll still see that here on work to game but you'll see it in a refined way where I can kind of go put my controller guides over on Ginger Prime, which I've been doing. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, the second link in the description will be for my channel. So you'll see Chris's channel at the top link because we want to get him to a thousand. Uh, he'll still have a little while from the watch time uh, that he'll before he could even consider being monetized. But we want to get to him at a thousand because a thousand he can tag people, he can tag work to game, he can tag Ginger Prime, you know. And so there's there's some benefits mm -hmm. there with it. He can also help with the community tab. So if you guys you know please consider uh, subscribing to the gaming kinda, but um. What you'll see here is that I can, after I kind of finish up these kind of preliminaries, you'll see the ultimate version here on work to game as just a like, yes, this is the best version right. of it can be. So right. for those who fit subscribe, uh, you can kind of see how my thought process is going along uh, and, and, and then essentially how it then delivers and lands. And the same thing that Chris, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you're also talking about the same thing with your gill making and your gold guides, right. something that Chris is well known for. Go ahead. Why don't you talk to people about that? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think basically work to game needs to be something that ideally appeals to as many of the 61,000 of you as possible. Um, and then we can hone in on things that maybe only 10% of you are interested in in the first place. And we can put those somewhere that's more specific to you so that we're not polluting their feed, but so it does still exist. Mm -hmm. um, and so like controller guides is a great example. Not all of you play each class. So those individual classes can live over there. And then the ultimate like how do I get into controller guides and things like that can live over here. And then for anybody new that comes in and only catches that, they're like, yeah, but how does this work with Bard? Well, that'll that'll point over here so they can just go watch the Bard one. Um, and that'll allow us to have posting frequency that the algorithm doesn't frown upon. Uh, <laughs> so it's this is just us adjusting to Google. Um, so for like my gill making guides, for example, some gill making guides live forever. Like those things just work talking about talking about like what the market board is, talking about retainers, um, talking about like vendor flips, those don't go away. They change and they fluctuate, but they don't go away. Um, talking about how to make money at like Boja, for example, if I'd put out a guide on that, that guide dies uh, as we go into the next expansion, possibly as we go into the next phase of Boja, depending on what it is. So it really needs to live somewhere that it can afford to die and let work to game be more evergreen content, be something that if somebody finds our content and it's two years old, it's not going to be wildly out of date. Um, it'll also be the bigger wide sweeping videos. So things like um, I've been making the, is it worth it in 2020? Mm -hmm. uh, I did, is it worth it in 2019? So I'll be doing, is it worth it in 2021? Um, spoiler alert, probably <laughs> will be, uh, but like, the, but that video talks about like who it's for and who it's not for. There yeah. are people that would not enjoy this game. And so kind of representing what the game is so that they don't, think it's the ultimate game and then come in and go oh this doesn't have that thing i wanted um and so those videos can live over here because they can live out the whole year and actually they continue to get views after that year and uh, interestingly it, enough that's <laughs> yeah and, and it just helps new players into the game so yeah. like work to game is a great platform for helping new players into the game um and it's a great and it's a great community around that anytime they ask questions in the in the comments like you guys are awesome about pointing them to the right resources and um being really nice and so like that anything that's not going to be that can go live somewhere else. Um, so yes, yeah, so my gill making guides is probably a great example of something that like, I've started to get back into gill making because um, that's just something that kind of comes and goes in waves. And like, I've gotten really into gold making on uh, wow. And I tried bringing some things over to 14. And interestingly enough, like I lost money at things that work in wow. I tried them in 14. And so like, I've been trying to decide like, how do I put out a guide that's like how to lose money? Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. think that's quite it. So yeah. I'm still working on it. Uh, it's like a, a Brewster's Millions kind of thing. Do you have millions of gear? Yeah, yeah. Are you tr okay? You got to spend it all without making a dime back. <laughs> yeah, I've unfortunately at first I was losing fifty thousand gill an hour. I've got it down to three thousand gill an hour, but that's still a negative number. So I'd like to get it positive before I put out the guide, because uh, <laughs> right now, you know how to how to lose three thousand gill an hour is not a uh, innovation that I think any of you are looking for. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of why the other channels exist um as brian starts to cover like new world and as brian mm -hmm. wants to talk about cloud gaming um that's just not something that interests all of you and for those of you it does um if there's like a big topic right mm -hmm. if if there's discussion that like square enix is coming out with their own cloud platform then that gives us a chance to talk about it here because that probably does interest you guys and then for anybody that wants to know more about cloud 
there will be a whole library of Brian stuff to dig into. And there already is, yeah. I got on, my, on another channel. I'm a cloud head. <laughs> the uh, so that hopefully that helps kind of like give you guys some insight into the kind of the thoughts that we've been having, uh, especially as it relates to like a couple of things. Like it started off because I, I think you have even seen people continue to come in and ask like, hey, where's this guy? And it's like already posted over on uh, Ginger posted. Prime or like, hey, what's Chris up to? It's like, well, I mean, Chris has actually been working on a couple of his channels, but essentially really kind of focusing in on gaming kind of. And you guys have really responded. I mean, Ginger Prime is coming up on 21,000 subscribers and I just kicked that off in January. So it's just insane uh, to see the, the growth that, that it has. And the reason, and some people have asked like, why haven't you really been promoting it or telling us about it? And honestly, it started off for me just more of a question because people would ask, like, how do you get started making YouTube videos? And the question was, is like, did we just hit lightning in a bottle or is there something, some kind of method to the madness? And, and I was like, well, like, this is what I tell people to do. Yeah. Go make content that you want to make that's searchable and that's topical and, you know, and then see if they subscribe. And y'all did. And the thing was that we also saw was. A lot of, like, not a lot of crossover. A lot of people discovering Ginger Prime now coming over and being a part of the workforce. And we really was excited to see that because it wasn't about, like, you know, just like, okay, work to game. We're just going to kind of tone it down. It's like, no, what is, what is work to game? And so we went right. back to the very beginning and said, why did we create a channel in the first place beyond, like, actually being discovered for different guides and for Final Fantasy? And it was like, we're just two guys who love to talk about video games over in abundance in fact that like our wives encourage us like you guys just need to go talk and you need to go post right now <laughs> yeah you need to go post <laughs> right now and that's really what when we sat when we when we were like let's make a channel what is it going to be about we love talking about video games and if you go back to like the very beginning it's like us just talking about like destiny and final fantasy and uh, all these things before like anybody uh, ever like felt like hitting that subscribe button and that's what we want this to be but at the same time we also want to respect everybody who's hit that subscribe button for any reason especially when it comes to a guides and i think that at this point especially with uh you know the community that we have here like we want to put out the best work that we can we want to put out and give you guys the best versions of that uh, of those guides of these posts of these thoughts so something where even chris can kind of go just like vent like in the moment like have a real true reaction i can do the same and then when cooler heads prevail we can sit here and it's like this was how i felt and then if you guys want to be a part of that and then you can kind of see that conversation come and go because yeah. You know, it's there's always that kind of changing thing. One of the things that I do wish that we did talk about was the Xbox Bethesda deal here. We covered that actually on Ginger Prime because we didn't feel like, well, like, should we post that here? We don't know because we're always like asking these questions. But like going forward, like if something like that happens, we want to be able to sit down and talk to you guys about it. And always, and as you've seen with our community feedbacks, those aren't going away. Those are on the wheel. Um, we want to have that and engage with that con continual conversation around video games. And we hope that uh, this video finds you in, like it isn't a surprise. We hope that you come into this video and you're like, oh, yeah, they've yeah, I, I know that Brian and Chris like this is kind of almost a, a channel update. We haven't done one in a while. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a big response to how the YouTube tools work. So actually, they still let our playlists have videos mm -hmm. from other channels on it. So we use our playlist as a way of linking these. So for for a few of you um, that were interested in playlists that don't get updated by work to game anymore, but are still getting content from gaming kind of or from Ginger Prime, like they, there are those playlists still live here. So that if somebody mm -hmm. discovers like, oh, do they play this game like that, that all the playlists still exist here. They just didn't make a way for you to subscribe to some playlists and not others. Mm -hmm. If they had done that, then like any of you not interested in World of Warcraft, we could have put everything that's World of Warcraft in the World of Warcraft playlist. And you could have flagged that playlist as like when they post on that, I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. And then we wouldn't have had to do all this. Um, I will say the other place that our community has been growing is is we've been streaming over on Twitch. Brian, mm -hmm. yeah, um, Brian had a chance to stream a lot. Started getting early and and the summer yeah. push on our channel. Mm -hmm. um, we did not the get summer, the we did not get partner. We did, we did not get it. Um, <laughs> we uh, we, hit, we hit the numbers, but we did not yeah, get approved. Yeah, they. Um, Maybe next time. Mm -hmm. So next summer is my, my next big push. Uh, unless you guys want to keep helping lurk, the numbers for World of Warcraft streams have been there. So our numbers it's been are a ton amazing. of fun. Yeah, it's been it's so been much a ton fun. Of fun. So we've been playing together. I've been teaching Brian World yeah. of Warcraft. Um, I've been playing pretty much off and on since vanilla, more on than off. So like, 
it's it's a surprising wealth of knowledge for the fact that like when i go into like preach a stream or something like that i feel so dumb but like compared to somebody who's never played before like it's really fun to kind of share all these things and see him react to types of content that like has almost gotten stale for anybody who's been around like he's doing his first types of certain quests and all that quests that we've had that style of quest for 10 years so like maybe the first one was really good about teaching you how to do it but at this point they're just like yeah just do it just do that type of quest um and they're different than 14 so it's interesting to kind of see the areas where like when things are familiar to 14 he just grasps it immediately mm. and when it's something that's different um it's like watching a brand new mmo player all together because like there's there's no way nobody taught him that um so that's been a ton of fun his reactions over on game club which is where we've been putting all of like stream highlights and um just less edited content mm -hmm. So if you guys want to see more like raw content, we're just trying to keep work to game more curated. So mm -hmm. I guess that's really what this post is saying is like work to games just slowly become more of like a thing. And it's not just posting what we want to post. It's it's become more defined. And so we're just trying to like respect that so that those of you that do choose to click the bell um, know exactly what you're getting. Exactly. So uh, hopefully you guys check it out. Uh, check out in again if you guys feel like helping uh, with the lurking on uh, on Twitch. That goes a long way. I think I'm going to obliterate our chances at, at partner coming next week when uh, Destiny uh, Beyond Light drops. I yeah, we don't so, seem to have any overlap in that community. Yeah, that's well. I, I get There's we a have a, we have a small Destiny community, and I would say an amazing Destiny community. Uh, but it's that we had a yeah. ton of fun. <laughs> oh, wait, dude, we played this Sunday. I, I tossed up a clip because we were doing custom mayhem and three second recharge supers and it was just unbelievably fun and hopefully we can continue to do that we i want to bring back the community game nights and so as we've kind of shifted we're always kind of evaluating when's the right time to play and stream and i know that by getting up early and i've been doing that partner push on twitch at the end of the day uh, looking at it i was like yeah by nighttime i am not wanting to play a game so maybe we'll be figure out something for like a Saturday or a Sunday going forward where we kind of just pick a, pick a game, jump in discord and we just like go nuts and do our own custom, bring back some custom PVP uh, feast for final fantasy. That was fun. No healers. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Um, so anyway, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, you like this video. Hopefully you continue to, you know, trust us with your subscription fee. And uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, like we're always an open uh, book, but that's, that's what we've been doing over the last couple of months. Uh, and the thing is that we were like, well, you know, this is what we want this to be. And you guys have responded. You continue to subscribe. And like, we've even seen like on discussions, like people actually subscribing, which was a real good, was a real relief. Cause it's like, well, like, you know, are we going, like, do we want to just be a news channel? Do we want to just be a reactions channel? And the answer is no, we want to be a discussion channel. We want to have uh, whether it's a, like a difference of opinion or it, there's just something that kind of that we all just need to kind of chew on and think about or engage with you guys and y'all's thoughts in the comments and the community feedback. That's what we feel like work to game is at its best. Uh, and then also then again, like with the ultimate, like we'll see that like I love making guides and hopefully uh, this gives us the ability to kind of really kind of work out any kind of uh, issues with any kind of guide or, you know, like how can we say it the best way and then bring you guys the best version of that that guide so you guys can continue to hopefully enjoy games uh with a good balance in life i think that's actually one of the things that we were like work to game it's about like you got a job so do we like how do you enjoy and make time for these games that can seem overwhelming and then we just try to demystify it and just say yeah here you go here's your little chunks of game go nuts and have fun with that and have a good time chris you got any final thoughts before we wrap up today's video oh no that's it we got to spin the wheel we got to spin the wheel for thursday's topic if you guys want more topics during the week, sound off in the comments below. So we've been kind of doing this Tuesday, Thursday, but we could bring more community it's feedback. A peg off. A peg flew off. Yeah, it's supposed to go right here. Just, <laughs> just gone now. All right, uh, peg missing. We, we got, got a community, community feedback. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, guys, for for anybody new here that has stayed this long in our what's going on on work to game post, this is where we go back and we review your comments on a video, um, a bit, make it a bit more conversational. We do our best to respond to comments, but sometimes we just can't keep up or you guys go off on a whole conversation that we're just listening in on. Uh, and this is our chance to kind of have that discussion. All right, guys, for work to game my name is Brian. My name's Chris. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. But until take, then, take care. <laughs> take care. <laughs> Bye, guys. This video is sponsored by me, Ginger Prime. Hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel, Ginger Gaming Radio, which we have lots of guests, lots of great conversations, 
and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.